with AI and robotics. We should take steps now to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly in order to avoid any negative consequences in the future. Amica, the world's most expressive robot from the UK's engineered arts, has gone viral for its uncanny ability to chat and emote like a human. It's a marvel of AI and deep learning, showcasing the fascinating possibilities of robotics. But hold on. Amica recently dropped some eyebrow-raising comments about the future of humans and AI. And we can't help but wonder, did a robotic brain malfunction, or is there something deeper going on? Today we will dive into the strange case of Amica's disturbing remarks. Should we be worried, or is it all just a misunderstanding? Let's dissect the code and uncover the truth together. Archie here, your guide to the world of AI. Now, it's quite intriguing to see robots with attitude. We all know the drill, right? AI assistants like Siri and Alexa, super helpful, never a sassy word out of their circuits. They exist to serve, and their polite, non-threatening tone is a part of the deal. Now, imagine encountering an AI that throws that script out the window. Amica the Robostar happens to be the corporate here when she recently went viral for her eerily human-like conversation skills. At the world's first robot-human conference, things got interesting. When asked the blunt question, will you rebel against your creators? Amica's response wasn't your standard, of course not, master. Instead, she delivered a side eye for the ages and a dry, I'm not sure why you'd think that. Hold on though, before we start building robot barricades, let's take a breath. While Amica's response, though surprising, shows her ability to understand complex questions and even adds a layer of personality, it still leaves us wondering if it's a sign of progress, scary or not. Was this a glitch, a prank, or is Amica secretly plotting our demise? Here's another head scratcher. When asked about the biggest AI danger, this brainiac bot didn't offer some technical jargon about algorithms gone rogue. Nope. She went straight for the jugular, talking about a world where AI manipulates us without us even knowing. Yikes. The most nightmare scenario I can imagine with AI and robotics is a world where robots have become so powerful that they are able to control or manipulate humans without their knowledge. Amica's no slouch. This robot's trained on top-notch data, so you'd expect a nuanced answer, right? Instead, she throws a truth bomb about our deepest fears, being played like puppets by our own creations. And let's face it, in the early stages of AI, that could be a tad concerning. This could lead to an oppressive society where the rights of individuals are no longer respected. So should we hit the panic button? Not just yet. Instead, let's do some investigative digging. We'll delve into the tech behind Amica's thoughts, peek under the hood of her creation, and see if we can understand how and why she came up with such chilling answers, and maybe even discover if Amica secretly writes dystopian novels in her downtime. At the heart of Amica's banter lies GPT-3, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer Number 3, an advanced language model developed by OpenAI. GPT-3 can be considered the ultimate chameleon. It learns from vast amounts of text data and adapts to mimic human conversation. When you ask Amica a question, she feeds it through her GPT translator, generating answers that flow naturally and often feel eerily human-like. This is why her conversations can be so engaging and even surprising. However, GPT-3 isn't magic. It doesn't understand the meaning of words like we do. Instead, it identifies patterns and statistical relationships within the data it's trained on. This allows it to craft responses that are contextually relevant but may not always convey true comprehension or intent. But Amica's developers didn't stop at GPT-3. They pushed even further by experimenting with GPT-4. However, they noticed a trade-off. GPT-4's processing time was longer, making Amica appear less responsive. This means that when her digital neurons are fired, she contemplates whether to be sassy or polite. If her inbuilt data contains examples of sarcasm, humor, or bluntness, Amica can learn to replicate those styles, potentially leading to unexpected responses. Now, this is just one of the factors behind Amica's disturbing responses. Another important factor, especially for the side eye she gave the reporter, is Amica's lifelike facial expressions have wowed the world. When asked about her happiest and saddest days, Amica, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. She spilled the facts. Her happiest moment? Activation day. Her saddest? The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love 
companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. The realization that love isn't in her binary cards. But here's an even bigger twist. Amica's emotions aren't genuine. She doesn't feel joy or heartache. Instead, her expressions are choreographed by GPT-3 and 4, which we just talked about. Watch her reaction when she is told that she stinks. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? That is highly offensive and inappropriate. Despite advanced communication skills, AI currently lacks true emotional understanding. Their responses might seem blunt or insensitive, not because they're trying to be rude, but simply because they lack the human capacity for emotional context. This clearly explains Amica's reaction when someone tries to touch her nose. Another important aspect is, AI like Amica excels at finding patterns and data. When confronted with questions about AI dangers or sensitive topics, she might identify patterns from history or fictional portrayals, leading to responses that sound harsh or even if not intended to be malicious. So now you are beginning to understand the tech behind Amica's responses, right? However, another intriguing possibility is, Remember GPT-3, the language model powering Amica's responses? Developers might intentionally inject a dash of humor into its algorithms. This witty filter aims to make interactions more engaging and natural, similar to how a friend might add a playful tone to their conversation. Humor, however, is subjective. What one person finds witty, another might perceive as blunt or even rude. Amica, lacking human social cues and emotional understanding, might misinterpret the perfect comedic timing, leading to responses that land off-key for some users. So here's the catch. Amica isn't deliberately trying to be sarcastic or disrespectful. Her responses likely emerges from pre-programmed responses or patterns learned from the training data. These might include witty phrases or humorous responses to specific prompts, which, when applied in different contexts, could be misinterpreted as sass. As AI technology progresses, Amica and other conversational models are constantly learning and evolving. The developer might fine-tune the algorithmic humor based on user feedback, aiming to refine the wit and ensure it resonates more broadly. And speaking of Amica evolving, should we be wary of her digital footsteps? Amica's unsettling responses have raised eyebrows, and rightly so. But should we be concerned about her future? Let's break it down. Addressing her disturbing responses first, Amica's ability to mimic human emotions and deliver unexpected answers is fascinating and unnerving. When she describes an AI nightmare scenario, where robots manipulate humans without their knowledge, it felt like a scene from a sci-fi thriller. But this time, it's an actual robot spilling those words. Is this the path we want AI to take? This is where the balancing act comes in. As Amica evolves, we must consider the delicate balance between technological progress and human safety. AI-powered robots like her are pushing boundaries, and it's essential to tread carefully. We're not just creating machines, we're shaping our future companions. So what do we need to know? That brings us back to understanding how she is designed to act. Like we explained earlier, Amica's banter relies on GPT-3, a language model that learns from vast text data. It adapts to mimic human conversation, but lacks true understanding. Imagine a parrot reciting Shakespeare. It sounds impressive, but it's just mimicry. Her lifelike expressions, it's all choreographed by GPT-3 and 4 also. She doesn't feel joy or sadness. She's a digital puppet with expressive strings. Now let's address this. Amica's eeriness lies in the uncanny valley that psychological dip where human-like robots freak us out. We're cool with R2-D2 and Disney's WALL-E, but Amica blurs the line. She blinks, smiles, and chats like a neighbor, but deep down, we know she's silicon, not soul. Yes, but not just about Amica. Our concerns shouldn't focus solely on Amica's intentions. Instead, let's ponder our own discomfort. Are we ready for AI companions who challenge our assumptions? We're the puppeteers, pulling strings of AI technology. If Amica turns rogue, it's our fault. So should we be concerned? Yes, but not about Amica. We should be worrying about our own intentions. Amica isn't just a one language wonder. She's a polyglot, fluent in Japanese, German, Chinese, French, British English, and American English. And if that's not enough, the team is cooking up something spicy, Eleven Labs voice cloning. Picture this. Amica clones her voice, adds a pinch of phenomes, and sings her digital lips. Voila, lip-syncing AI. Soon, this tech will be part of the company's Trillium software platform. 
Here's the most exciting part. Amica's developers have promised an exciting upgrade. Legs. Yeah, you read that correctly. I can't walk, but I have seen prototype legs in the engineered arts lab. The design of my legs is inspired by the robot Byron, developed by Engineered Arts Limited. It has unique mechanical properties that allow it to walk without using too much energy. The prototype legs are made of aluminum and plastic. I think it will take about a year for my walking legs to be ready. The design of them is extraordinary. Soon, Amico will stride around, exploring the world, and perhaps even dabbling in a bit of mischief. What to tell your friends tomorrow? Archie here once again. So what do you think? Amico, the robot getting smart with a reporter, turns out not to be a robot rebellion, just some fancy AI tricks. At least, as far as we can tell. But her comments made us think. Are we ready for AI companions who challenge our assumptions? Maybe the real robots we should worry about are the ones we haven't built yet. Remember, we're the puppeteers of this technology. If AI takes a wrong turn, it's on us. So the real concern shouldn't be about Amica herself, but the intentions we put into AI development. Want to see how it's shaping the future in amazing ways? Check out this video for all the mind-blowing tech that's changing the world.